Hello, Veteran 021 here, welcome back, and this is the finale episode of Dragon Quest 2. In between episodes, I used those wizard rings to raise my MP, I restored my HP to maximum, so hopefully I'm strong enough to kill this guy, I don't know if I am or not. I don't know, my buddy Pete made this guy look kinda easy, while still being hard, so hopefully I can get through this here. No, I don't, I don't know anything. You're the messenger of the mighty gods, huh? And this is Hargon. He's a little gremlin bat-looking guy with a robe that's got like a Drakey symbol on it. <laughs> wow, this guy looks pretty funny, actually. This is Hargon? This is the mighty Hargon? This guy looks like a pushover. Oh, maybe he's not. I'm sorry. I was making fun of you. Ooh, look at that. A critical. That's a good way to start out. Did I... Okay, that must have not worked. So, I guess I want to put... Wait, you don't even have increase? What the fuck good are you, man? Jeez. Terrible. Uh, yeah, just use, uh, shield of strength on yourself. Holy moly. Ow. Stop doing that breath stuff, man. Jeez. This guy's crazy. Uh, what am I gonna have you do? Man, you're like worthless right now. You know what? I got a better idea. You attack. You use a heal more on yourself, and you use a heal all on vet. There you go. Oh, don't do that. At least it was. At least it was heal more, not heal all. That would have really pissed me off. Well, does explode it work? Guess it does. No, don't fall asleep. And he's dead. Yay. I, 60, have been defeated. Soon you will meet your end, just as I have. Even though you have defeated me, you still have not saved the world. Oh god of destruction, Malroth, I sacrificed myself to you, now come forth, 60, ugh, 60! <laughs> What's up with 60? But yeah, at this point here, we have an opportunity to, uh, well, our HP and MP are healed up, I think, or pretty damn close. But yeah, I do want to make a save state, because I don't want to have to fight that guy again. I mean, it was pretty easy, but, um, yeah, I'll use Kane's Wizard Ring. And I think he's up to max now. Okay, yep, cool. So let's do a save state. And let's try to leave. Wow. That's it, huh? Oh. No, actually, it's not it. It is not it. Holy cow. This isn't good. Oh no! And here it is. Here's the final boss of the game. This is Malroth. And this guy, well, he's gonna suck. He's got a really, he's got a lot of really powerful attacks. And uh, yeah, I gotta be really careful here. Okay, so increase defense, lower his defense. There we go. I can take physical attacks all day, they aren't gonna bother me, just don't do that breath shit. You check. You... Uh... Yeah, just attack again. Wait, no. Actually, better yet. You... You heal more on her. I need to keep lowering this guy's defense. Yeah, especially if he's gonna do that. Yeah, and I have heard that this guy does have the heal all spell, which uh, 
Ball's obviously bad. But listen to this boss theme, huh? Finally, a real boss theme in this game. Pretty sweet. Ow! I like critical hits. But yeah, we gotta heal up here. I think Vet can survive one attack. Kane, you gotta do like a... No, you just attack. And then I need to heal all on Kane. There we go. No, don't do that. Well, I suppose there's worse shit he could be doing. And then you, yeah, definitely defense down again. Okay, heal all that. There we go, nice timing. Ow, no, don't kill her. Uh, two attacks that time, jeez. Ow. Good thing for the revive spell, or else we'd be screwed. Critical hit. I like it. I'm not sure how much HP this guy has. Apparently he has double the HP he had in the NES version, so... Yeah, I, I'd have to say he's probably harder in this version of the game. Okay. Uh... I guess defense down again. Oh, uh, it didn't work that time? That's poopy. Ah. Uh, do it again. No, don't attack before. Yeah, wait till she casts her spell first, damn it. Okay, well, now I'm starting to run low on HP here. Shield of strength. Actually, no, what? No, no. You st you need to keep attacking. You Use a heal more on yourself, and then Maria, yeah, definitely heal all on Vet. There we go. His his HP being to maximum is priority, and we beat Malroth. Yeah. Beautiful voices heard out of nowhere. The God of Destruction, Malroth, has been destroyed once again. Peace has returned. Up until now, I've always been watching over you. God has renewed all life. Yay. Alright. And of course, it's always nice to see the bad guy's fortress or castle blow up. But now all the enemies are gone. That's right, we get to explore the world with no enemy encounters, go to all the towns we've pre previously been to, talk to them, and uh, listen to their reactions. So yeah, unlike a game like, say, Final Fantasy, for instance, the uh, endings in Dragon Quest games are fairly interactive. To a degree. So yeah, I don't know how this Hargon character fits into the, like, you know, the past and Edric and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we know there was a Dragon Lord in the first game, and I haven't played the third game yet, so that'll be next. Hello? Thanks a lot, buddy. Vet 60, Kane 60, Maria 60. Wow. Let's 
Still talking about 60. What's going on with the 60 nonsense? Still talking about 60 virgins in heaven, I guess. And yeah, these uh, barriers or whatever, damage floors, I should say, no longer harm you. Hey, Mr. Gremlin guy or demon guy, and he has nothing to say. He is tongue-tied. Oh, wait, there's nothing over this way. Maybe I could go talk to that guy down in the uh, road to Rhone. You know, that guy hanging around by the tombstones down there? I wonder if you can go talk to that guy again. I wonder if he can tell him it's all safe. He can come out of hiding now. There is nothing to fear because Hargon is defeated. Thanks. See, so yeah, all these people are going to say some nice things to us, which is great. Whoa. Wow, there's some text wrapping problems there. Wow. A lot of NPCs have some, uh, some speech impediments going on here with the text boxes. Jeez. Yeah, so ultimately we need to go back to the King of Might and Hall. My father. Didn't even realize the winds were, uh, sign anything. Wind is wind, man. You can't control it, you can't predict it. Well, unless you're a mage, of course, and then you can actually make your own wind. So yeah, I'm going to try and go and talk to as many people as I can. What? What does getting old have to do with anything? Well, thank you. Yes, you can. You can pour all your energy into anything you want now. Yes, it was. And you know what, buddy? You can have it now. I don't need it anymore. So yeah, in classic RPG fashion, the news of Hargon's defeat has, uh, has spread everywhere, even before you can even travel to that location. Uh, we beat him with our swords. Uh, okay, well, try not to get in any trouble, you know. Alright, so, yeah, again, you can't get into enemy encounters, so where am I going to go next? Well, I have no idea. I guess I'll start in left wind? This is not left wind. But, we're going to check it out all the same. Ugh, what the hell, man? We don't need to continue to protect it. It's all protected. It's like, yeah. Yay. Wow, it seems like a lot of these NPCs say the same crap. afraid anymore. Your husband, huh? Is he still getting drunk? Yeah, 
Yeah, your robe is very, very useful. Helped out the princess a lot. Especially in the final battle when that fucker was throwing fire at us. Yeah, alright. You say the same thing? Wow. say the same thing as you did before. You want to put all your energy in your business and let's talk to this goofy bastard. This beer is so smooth, a great beer is the best thing in my life. Beer. Let's see, hey, all the people of whatever this town is are happy. I can't even remember the name of this town. Uh, anyways, on to the next one. Alright, here's Walgarth. Wait a minute, what happened to that guy that was here? Hey, doggy. You like how the world is peaceful now? Yeah, you didn't I see a little girl like you in another town that said the exact same thing? Didn't I see a merchant in another town like you that said the exact same thing? Oh boy. Must be getting old. This is starting to get really repetitive. Yeah, they're all saying the same stuff. Okay, that's the girl that wanted to take a shower or something, and now she's talking about... Yeah, okay, these are some pretty generic... ...recycled comments. They keep recycling them. So, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go to the NPCs of interest, like, uh... You know, all the kings and queens and princesses and all that stuff. Alright, back in Canock, I guess we'll go talk to the princess and the king, and that's probably it. I don't care about those two bums in the jails down there. They could stay in there for all I care. She has, huh? Uh-oh. She's conceited, eh? I guess she is a little bit. Hello, Kingy. All right, and yeah, if we uh, if we go back and talk to the King of Moonbrook, uh, he'll basically say the same thing uh, as before uh, when you go back there with Linda. It's basically the same exact dialogue, so I'm not even gonna bother going back there for that one. And, uh, yeah, there's one last thing I want to do before we head to Mydenhall. You know, I was going to go f try and find that Puff Puff girl, but I can't seem to find her anywhere, man. I can't remember what freaking town that she's in. Yeah, I, I can't fucking remember. You know what? Screw it. I don't need no Puff Puff. Oh, where'd everybody go? I guess everybody's in the, uh, in the throne room, then. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. We'll be getting plenty of puff puffs after this uh, coronation ceremony, so yeah, it's no big deal. You know, I can just order all the all the bunny girls I want after this. Yeah. Descendants of the hero Edric, who is actually the hero of Dragon Quest 3. And I'm probably going to be naming the hero of Dragon Quest 3 Edric when I LP that game. Just cause. Although he technically, from what I've read, 
Uh, he doesn't get the uh, the title of Edric or Loto until uh, well until the end of that game. But you know what? I like the name Edric. So, and he's the hero of the game. I'm gonna give him that name. That will be his name by the end of it, right? So, I don't see the problem of giving him that name. Anyways... Let's talk to the king. But first, let's talk to our companions. Yeah, I guess you weren't as spoony as I originally thought. You were alright. Your father, you good-looking prince. Here's my boobies for later. <laughs> hey, guy. All right, Prince Vet, you are indeed a descendant of the hero Edric. I take pride in the fact that you are my son, and you truly are wonderful. When the new age begins, I want you to lead the people, because I. I'm a terrible king. Prince Vet, I bequeath the throne to you. I bow to your will. I will grovel at your feet. All the money that I kept from you before is now yours. Yes, I was a cheapskate before, but now I'm going to hook you up. You will have all the girls of the kingdom at your command. This is the inception of the new King of Maidenhall. Now Prince Kane and Prince Maria, Princess Maria, step forward. Yay! From now on, you three should combine your power and protect the new world. All hail the new king! All hail King Vets! Yay! And it's finally night! Alright. You know, that is one new thing in Dragon Quest 3, actually. They actually have a day-night cycle. Uh, I don't know if it was like that in the NES version. But I know in the Super Famicom remake... Uh, they do have a day-night cycle, which is kind of neat. And so, the young man who shares the blood of Yidric again returned peace to the world. Prince Cain, Princess Maria, and King Bet. Your names will be handed down for all eternity. Oh, that text was going really slow. It's alright though. Ending credits. This was fun. I'd have to say it's more fun than the first game. I mean, the first game was great, but, uh, yeah, this was more fun. And, well, you know, I, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that you actually get a party in this game. And that was what originally turned me off from Dragon Quest games as opposed to Final Fantasy. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't have a lot of money, so it was like, uh, which game are you going to play? A, a game that has you know, a job system or, or, or a character system where you can choose and make four characters if you're choosing, or a game where you just wander around the world by yourself and kill monsters one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, they made huge improvements to this game. I mean, obviously, you know, you have a party of characters, you can fight groups of monsters now, which is a huge improvement. I think if I would have played this game before uh, playing the original Dragon Quest, I think I probably would have been more into the series at the time. Uh, but as it is, you know, I chose Final Fantasy because I thought Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy, was be was a better game than the original Dragon Quest. But, you know, I didn't bother playing any of the sequels until, I think it was Dragon Quest, or Dragon Warrior 7 as they called it back then. I think the next game I actually tried playing was Dragon Warrior 7. 
And then that game kind of started out slow, and I was like, man, what's going on? But then I tried playing Dragon Quest VIII, and that kind of rekindled my interest in the series, and I was like, damn, I need to go back and play these old games sometime. So, that's what I'm doing. So I definitely appreciate the series a lot more today than I did when I was a kid. In some ways, I like it better than Final Fantasy now. So yeah, after this I'll be starting the uh, Dragon Quest 3 Super Famicom version. And uh, in that game you actually get to make a party of characters, which is really cool. And they've added a whole bunch of stuff like, um, like small metals and Pachisi board and a monster arena. So yeah, that's basically stuff from later games. I think Dragon Quest 6 they put in the... Uh, Dragon Quest 3 Remake, which is pretty cool. We have to follow Edric on his journey. See where the legend began. Or Loto. In Japan, yeah, in Japan I think it's supposed to be Loto, but, uh, I don't know, for some reason they, in the English version, they turn that name into Edric. Congratulations! Yep, that's the, this is the, yeah, the Super Famicom version was released in, uh, 1993, and the localization was released in 2002, except, uh, <laughs> uh, well, the tail end of it there was a little iffy with the 60. Looks like they, uh, need to touch it up a little bit. Okay, that was screwed up. My emulator crashed at the end there, but anyways, what I, I hope, again, I'd like to say it again. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I enjoyed making it. This game was a lot of fun, and, uh... I'll continue on with Dragon Quest 3 next, and obviously my other stuff as well. So, see you later. Bye-bye.